Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. There's a question we have October 2009. Okay, in for paper one. Question is, you given us that y is equals to three cos two x. And you know it very well. We will always just for sake of understanding, we write in this format. And you know it, what the, the thing uh, multiplying with cos, that element is called amplitude. And the element adding or subtracting is called excess. And this number is called number of cycle, NOC. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to sketch it and have a look here. First of all, check it here, zero to pi is our, our boundary, zero to pi. I tell you one thing, NOC is two. It means in zero to two pi, I mean to say zero to 360 degree, it is two cycles. It has two cycles. It means zero to pi or zero to 180, it must have one cycle. Some students they don't don't understand this concept, like they like not understand. Then what I do always, okay, this I'm writing all here. Then what I do, I make 360 and then rub extra part. Have a look. This is a. Uh, 90, 90 plus 90, and plus 90, and plus 90. I mean, I mean, the problem is we have right radiant form. So you can write both 180 and pi, and 2 pi, and 360. And rest you do show him, even examiner to 90, no problem at all. And here 270. Okay. And, uh, and this zero. And what is amplitude three? So axis is this number axis. Make sure axis. So this number always come in the middle. And amplitude three, it means one, two, three. Same way, one, two, three. So you can see from here, the amplitude is three and amplitude is three. Now we'll check it, how we can do it. So first of all, you know it very well and number of cycles are two. And I taught many times, we have formula, uh, 90, how, like how much gap we would take along X axis. This gap depends upon 360 degree divided by, oh sorry, 90 degree divided by NOC. So uh, 90 NOC, number of, number of cycles, how many? Two cycles. So I get 45 degree gap. So I should not write 90, 90 gap, no. So I'll take one few extra angles, 45 degree plus, 40, uh, zero plus 45, plus 45, again plus 45, 135, again plus 45, 225, again 270, and then 315. I repeat. Zero plus 45, I got 45. Plus 45, I get 90. Plus 45, I get 135. Plus 45, I get 180. Plus 45, I hope so you got the point very, very clear. Now I'm going to sketch it. And what is method of sketching? Uh, you will type these angles in your calculators, okay? Or use table function in your calculator. When I plug in zero here, so what kind of graph I will get? I'm going to show you cause graph. So it means I get three, the highest number I get three here. And when I plug in 45 in the place of X, I'll get zero. When I plug in 90 in the place of X, so I get negative three. When I plug in 135 in the place of X, you can check a parallel with my working. 135. When I plug in 180 in the place of X, I get 
we once again. I think I know enough. Let's start. Some students join this way. This is not the right way because curve value then gradually. So I mean curve actually, right? This, 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 this. So this is called cos curve. And you know, we will replicate because it's a one cycle we plot it. Now, same way, if I plug in two to five in the place of x, it will repeat this, 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 and this. So we have two cycles. You can see even that we have two cycles, but in natural time period, 260 or 2 pi, 360 or 2 pi. But uh, he's, he said, no, you have to sketch it for pi. So it means, now you realize one thing, that in 360 degree, we have two cycles. And in 180 degree, it has one cycle. So I will erase this extra part. So but I hope so when you become expert, no need of this erasing. Okay. So I think so. I write again. This is 180 degree or pi. So Alhamdulillah, first part is over. At the same time, he's saying that you have to sketch this line as well. So x plus 2y equal to pi. x plus 2y is equal to pi. OK, you can make it a table and uh, ideal number of x value is 0. When I plug in x value 0 here, so let's see what happens. If x value 0, so what is the pi value? Y value, pi by 2. And when you type in calculator, because y values y along y axis is not possible so i will type it and all of you know pi by 2 is coming how much it is 1.57 okay or i write 1.6 no problem 1.6 1.6 all right when i plug in another well what is another value? Uh, from zero to x pi, you can plug in any. I think pi is a good option. If I plug in pi, so when a pi goes here, pi plus two pi equal to pi. Pi pi cancel, y becomes zero. Now I'm going to sketch it. So I do sketch in a different color, zero and 1.6. X is zero and y is 1.6 is somewhere here. Where so this is a 1.6 over here. Here, okay, 1.6. And other value is what? Uh, x is pi, y is zero. X is pi is here, and y is zero here. It means this point. Now I'll take a scale and sketch it. So I believe the point is very clear, and I have done it. So this is, he's not asking sometimes if he asks you that number of solutions, number of roots. So then what are number of roots to logic? This blue line and curve intersecting at two points only. So Alhamdulillah, I believe the point is completely clear. 